So it's about 3.30 p.m. Just got lunch with some friends visiting from uh, Barcelona and it's really cold, it's windier today, heard it might snow tomorrow, first snow, uh, yeah. Oh, there's that yellow thing, that's the streetcars here for the trams, so all sorts of public transport. Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a proper introduction on video because I didn't do that yet. Uh, but my name is Elise and I go to UC Santa Barbara at home um, studying chemistry and I'm in the Phi University program here studying philosophy. I finished all of my chemistry requirements at UCSB before I left so I am just here taking kind of whatever I want and I chose to take philosophy courses. This is my last semester so I am graduating abroad and I am definitely having a lot of fun doing it. Um, I didn't know anyone coming to Berlin at the same time as me, but um, this has definitely been one of the best aspects in my opinion because I've made so many new friends uh, this way, just not really having to rely on anyone um, that I already knew. And yeah, if you're considering going abroad and um, doing it kind of on your own, I really recommend it. It has definitely made like been a make or break for my experience. Um, the biggest difference um, in schooling between uh, my university and the UCs is the registration process in that it's not really first come first serve. You just kind of say that you want to be in a class, they'll note it, and then at the end of the day, they'll run a lottery and everyone finds out what classes they got at the same time. So you might get all of your classes or you might get none of them. And if you get none of them, you just kind of have to show up, talk to the professor and kind of wish or hope that you'll get into the class after showing up for a couple weeks. Um, and there is like little to no homework, at least in my philosophy courses and also my international student course. Your grade is based on like one term paper, term paper and one final exam or some other assignment. Um, my favorite experience, I think I'm going to answer this with more overall like an aspect of my time abroad is my roommate or my flatmate. Um, her name is Amanda and she's from Madrid. She's studying at Udeca, which is the um, art university here in Berlin. And I got so lucky meeting her and having her as my flatmate. We do so many things together. Um, we just like have conversations at home. We hang out together, um, like meeting up in the middle of the day, like when we're out at school or she's coming back from work. It's always really fun. And she's like one of the coolest people I've ever met. And I, I just got so lucky. So that's probably been one of my favorite aspects of being in Berlin. Everyone, this is my roommate. <laughs> okay, German is easy to learn the grammar, I'd say. Um, but in the words of Amanda, she says that <laughs> um, it's hard to be spontaneous in German, like to just conjure up a sentence, especially, I mean, for me being what, A2, which is a pretty low level, like two months of German. Um, it's hard, but living in the city helps a lot. And for example, like at this point, I pretty much do all my food and coffee orders in German. I'm going to restaurants or when I'm at the cash register, but having a conversation uh, in German, that kind of doesn't really happen, but we're getting there. So the music scene in Berlin is really incredible and that's kind of how I decide where I like to go out at night. 
So my favorite bar would definitely be um, this one in Neukölln, which is one of the districts in Berlin. It's called Arkauda or Arkauda. I'll have it spelled out. Um, but they feature a lot of small experimental artists like DJs as well as live bands. Um, I saw this band called Broken Chord with my friends like about a month ago. One of the best performances like I had seen. It was such a cool experience. And then um, one of my favorite clubs is a very also a very small club. It's called Ohm, and they also feature a lot of small um, like collectives, DJ collectives on Thursdays. And I like to go on Thursdays because um, the crowd is usually smaller and the music is really good. Okay, so I promised I'd talk about housing and um, I want to do a brief spiel on this because housing is really difficult to find in Berlin. It's just very competitive. Um, I found my housing through that link that I had in like one of the first stories earlier today called Bege Gesucht. And I looked about five months before I left for Berlin. I didn't get my housing secured until August, which was one month before I left. And that's already past the deadline to apply to the student housing options that they give you, um, kind of like Studentendorf, which is so far away. Like I personally would not, did not want to live that far, um, but it's close to the school. And there's like neon wood and fizz, which are like private student apartments that are a little pricier. But um, best option that most people do is to just get housing for the first month, come to Berlin, talk to people, make some friends, and then you will find housing through word of mouth.